Hello everybody and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. In this uh, video series I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial. Probably not going to actually be that quick but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to space. I've uh, noticed that a lot of people <laughs> have an issue with this game's difficulty curve. Curve. Oh boy. So I've uh, already forgotten how to speak apparently. This game's difficulty curve. And I figured I'd do a bit of education. Also, just had to reinstall Windows so my save got wiped. So, that's not actually anything. Uh, so let's make a new career mode. I always like to name my uh, space games after EVE Online's universe. Just because I'm a massive EVE Online nerd. You can judge if you want. I don't even care. So, we're starting with basically nothing. The, the uh, science update rec that they recently put out made it such that there's actually a career mode. Words that I was forgetting. No, I don't have that. So, you don't have very many parts. The intent is that you're supposed to build something, you know, like this. And go three feet in the sky. And do, you know, a, a touch of science. Get just a little bit of science, etc. I find that boring. I'll show you guys how to space with really, really rudimentary parts. This, oh my god, I've made a terrible mistake. Jeb. Jebediah. I'm sorry, Jebediah. <laughs> oh god, explosions everywhere. Oh, 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 ah, yep. Jebediah is dead. So, that education. <laughs> education and entertainment. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lesson number one put your parachutes on a different stage. But anyway, that wasn't what I was trying to do anyway. I also forgot the science part of sciencing, so... Oh, I don't even have that! I just have the f stupid antenna. Screw your antenna. So, how do you get to space? Lots of fuel. Put some fuel on your fuel. And then... Put some fuel on your fuel. Again. This is how you space just in case you weren't sure. No? No? By no you mean yes. Oh, for the... Ah, oh, come on! You are not obstructed. Oh, you're just being a bitch. have an issue with this bug from time to time. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Uh. <laughs> what? Alright, let's move this so far out there that it cannot possibly interact. Oh, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> There we go. And... Just because I didn't actually want that. Oh my god. Thank you! Jesus. Alright. And... Because that cannot possibly... Never mind, I'm going to space. Uh oh. I know what I've done. I have the parachute on the same stage again. Oh, man. So yeah. Here's some fuel. And I'm going to do this first, as opposed to just launching myself into death again. Let's go! Yeah, I need to turn the throttle on. <laughs> it's a little bit heavy. Oh well. I got plenty of fuel. No, I didn't like that noise. What was that? Uh, I guess that was nothing. Okay. Yeah. 
actual bit of education right here. You don't want to get over 200 meters per second until you get over 10 kilometers up. The air's a lot, a lot thicker down here, and you'll be just wasting fuel rubbing up against the air like that. So get over the lion's share of the air, given to not space, but you know, high altitudes, then you can throttle up and roll over. You want to roll towards 90 because the planet's already rolling that way and you have a bit of momentum helping you out. And I always shoot for about 45 degrees down here. I don't know if that actually matters. It just seems to uh, work well for me. And that extra momentum I was talking to you about, this is it right here. That's my orbit, that's my surface, that's where, I'm, that's the uh, scientific words and stuff. You know, stuff. Yeah, the little yellow ball is the direction you're headed in relation to the surface versus the orbit. It moves a little bit because you have that momentum I was talking about. With such delicate precision, I was talking. But you know what? You got what I was trying to say. So laugh off. Oh, and uh, middle engine's gone. Oh my god, I've made a terrible mistake. Uh, oh well. Space! Let's see how much space I get. Uh, I don't really want that much space. Oh, okay, that's how much space I get. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, the game wants you to just, you know, stay in Earth atmosphere for the first launch. The atmosphere is for sissies. Am I playing Kerbal Atmosphere Program? No, I'm playing Kerbal Space Program. So I'm darn well going to go to space. I wasn't really expecting to get this much space. I could have made an orbit with this much. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's do some science. Crew reports and stuff. Yeah, science. Now let's uh, go explore some space. Yep, looks like space to me. Space! Now where did I put that planet? Hello, planet. How are you today? You're looking small. Oh, hey, get back here. Ah! Oof. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, wake up. I didn't actually knock you unconscious. Now is not the time for a rest. Now, slowly. Oh my god. So... <laughs> my front door might be bugging a little bit. But that's alright. I'll get this figured out. Ta-da! And let's go back to Earth. Play my parachute because I always forget about that. Uh, Why did I stop? Time warp. Why are you jacking with me? Ah, oh, I forgot to. Hey, hey! I just noticed my uh. Recording software, my new recording software, got new stuff by the way, using open broadcaster software. I uh, started streaming recently, kind of half acidly, you know, with about as much fervor as I YouTube, but yeah, started using broadcaster software and discovered it actually records locally as well, so I started using that. And I completely forgot what I was talking about, so have some free words. Uh, Oh yeah, so it has a timer on it, so I don't have to worry about, you know, 30 minute episodes like I've been making previously. Space? 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 I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm so out of it today. Yep, 
You can time warp coming down, it's a little bit hectic, but you do not want to be time warping at 500 meters, because that's when that up. Oh my! That, my friends, is the sound of facepalm. What just happened? Okay, okay. Boarded. The command pod collided into the parachute. This doesn't even make sense. All right, so I added a little bit of dirt proofing. I'm not sure if it's, uh, going to do anything seeing as the last time it collided with its own parachute but I'm hoping that'll help it disconnect from these so these will work a little bit easier but I'm about to do the exact same thing over again so I'm not sure how much of this is actually going to make it into the video because editing I'm gonna watch my orbit this time you want to get out to about a uh, hundred thousand meters it's uh far enough up that you're pretty maneuverable orbital orbitally wise orbitally wise what the fuck does that even mean i don't know what i'm trying to say i don't know i expect you guys to know but i don't there. get out to about a hundred then wait until you get there to do anything because whenever you're at your apoapsis or your periapsis which is you know around about here right now that's when you're most maneuverable for changing your orbit so when you're down here you're not going to get as much work out of your fuel as if you're at your apoapsis all right that camera spin right there indicates that we've made orbit periapsis is on my side apoapsis far side at 300 kilometers I have a whole hell of a lot of fuel left, so I think I'll just call this an orbit, do me some science, and deorbit. Alright, let's uh, just for giggles, we'll do a full orbit. <laughs> basically for achievement points. Achievement! Done in orbit! Nah, fuck it. Half orbit's good enough, right? And... Back into air. Atmosphere. <laughs> Words and shit. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Land back at the, uh, fucking... <laughs> uh, space program place. Space center. Space center. That's the word I was looking for. I'm gonna try to do that. Pro tip. If you're trying to land somewhere, aim a little bit past. Let's see, and that's still 12k, so I think I'll actually land around there. I've never been the best at landing. I've done some amazing tricks with uh, non-atmosphere airless rocks. But when it comes to actual planets, I just kind of fall in the atmosphere and hope I hit a continent. So about 20 ought to put me back on KSC. Let's see what happens. But I want to speed warp faster. Alright. Deploy them parachutes. Alright, this is the part where you're gonna uh, time warp it. <laughs> Unless I get proven wrong again. In which case I'd be a little bit irritated. But yeah, you should be able to time warp for every step except for 500 meters above and the ground. 
Time warp makes, you know, the physics go a little bit strange, so... I wouldn't recommend doing it through those, because you could just, you know, randomly sever your parachute, or hit the ground harder than you really think you should. Ooh, this is looking good. This is looking real good. This is looking terrible, actually. <laughs> I lied. I'm hitting the wrong side of the continent. Eh, I still got it on the right continent. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Man, this looks so weird at time warp. I don't usually do a time warp because, you know, I have way too much patience for this sort of thing. And I'll just slow down here because, you know, it's 500 meters above whatever you're landing on which looks pretty close to sea level but you never can tell so you just don't want to dick yourself over it's basically what I'm trying to say ha that was a cool idea I'm proud of myself I look like a little weather balloon. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Oh my! God. <laughs> that would have been. Oh, I would have been so angry if that just b bitch slapped Jebediah into the ground and killed him. All right, so we got our science. Recover the vessel and discover some things. Ah, and I've hit the twenty minute mark, so I'll call this an episode. And in the next one, we'll be doing some science and discovering things. So I'll see you there.